How are you? I'm Dr. Todd Handel. I'm a physiatrist. Uh, the crutches and the uh, brace is not for a long-term problem. I just had surgery two weeks ago on my knee. Um, I'm a physiatrist, which is a doctor of physical medicine and rehabilitation. Um, my practice is the Handel Center for Spine, Sports, and Rehabilitation. And uh, I do interventional pain management. The majority of my practice is doing spine injections and treating patients with um, chronic debilitating pain and have uh, recommended medicinal marijuana for several of my patients. Uh, the patients that ha are using it, as you hear in the test testimony today, have done extremely well. It's difficult as a physician to abide by the law uh, when you're recommending a medication and to say, I recommend this medication, but I can't tell you how to use it. I can't tell you how much to take nor can I even tell you where to get it. I write for a fair amount of opioid analgesics, um, including oxy Oxycontin, morphine, um, Vicodin, and Percocet. And those are drugs for abuse. And my, part of my practice and part of what I provide is I have an extensive amount of office staff to help me in monitoring the patients that I'm treating and doing things such as testing their urine, um, monitoring how much that they're using. Um, and if I'm suspicious that they're abusing it, then I want to confront it. And if I'm suspicious that they're having um, adverse effects from it, then I've got to monitor that. But I can't do that with marijuana. All I can do is recommend that, or say that they have a qualifying diagnosis. I fill out a form that's somewhat similar to filling out a handicapped parking permit, um, and then say, go ahead and try it. But I can't tell them what dosage to use. I can't tell them what pharmacy to go to. I can't send them down to Walgreens or to CVS. Um, I've got to tell them that it's available on the street. Uh, and that's not what I'd like to see, and that's not how I think that this bill was designed. I think this bill is, 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 is brilliant in the way that it does have some protection towards the physician. Um, but now we need to take it a step further in order to provide the counseling that's appropriate. Uh, the mechanisms of safety and the mechanisms of <coughs> preventing abuse of uh, marijuana. Things like um, urine tox, tox screens. If somebody you know, is coming in for marijuana but you test their urine and they don't have any uh, marijuana in their urine, they're not, the, they're not taking it. They're likely um, abusing it. If they're having such a significant need, well, is that need appropriate for the diagnosis that they have? Um, and the Compassion Center is a, is a, it can be a place that we can help in keeping uh, the um, use of marijuana controlled, educating the patients is what's first and foremost, helping them understanding the different strains of marijuana that are available, helping them um, with counseling, helping them with their disease process, and um, helping them getting it in a safe way. Um, because I don't want to see anybody getting uh, assaulted when they're going into the streets um, uh, of Providence and buying it and they're not knowing what they're getting and they're helpless. Um, we need a way that the physicians are able to monitor just as I'm monitoring my other, the opi other opioid analgesics that I'm legally prescribing. Uh, and it's not the physician that might be abusing that, the Oxycontins and the Percocets, but it's our responsibility to do a due diligence to protect our patients. And I'd like to be able to do my due diligence in this situation as well.